In our patient population here, there was a reduction of mortality by about 50%. You have to change your habits, otherwise you wouldn't be able to do that. The key to success for this story lies in three words. Teamwork, teamwork and teamwork. Secondary prevention, we see it as a comprehensive approach with multiple core components. The secondary prevention and rehabilitation programs set up in Hasselt, Belgium, and in Bern, Switzerland, offer patients a comprehensive and multidisciplinary approach in the days after an MI. For three months, patients come every two days to follow personalized rehabilitation programs. When the patient uh, arrives us, we have his first uh, cardiac assessment of the patient. We assess the risk factors. We do this exercise test for determine the peak exercise capacity for risk certification and uh, training recommendation. After completing patient evaluations, personalized training programs are set up. Normally they receive the test three times, one at the start of the rehabilitation program, one at six weeks and one at 12 weeks. We choose here a protocol 40-20, so we start at 40 watts and each minute there will be, it will be going up with uh, 20 watts. And after one minute you can warm up. Every two days patients come for exercise training. The patients who come here have 45 sessions of endurance training and strength training. Normal training session is two hours, endurance and for one hour and then strength training. The idea is of course that uh, when we provide patients with exercise training program is that they are tailored, tailored and patient specific. But it's not just about physical activity. All risk factors are tackled, including nutrition. We look on sugar in food. Patients are given information, general information about um, healthy food choices, based on the recommendations for healthy nutrition from the Swiss Society of Nutrition and also the Mediterranean diet and adapted to the local eating habits here in Switzerland. Most important is to learn the food levels. I use the pyramid to teach them what they may eat. They can see the calories on the food levels and they can see the fatty acids. I try to put that in the context of heart-friendly food. Individualized smoking cessation support is also offered. For patients who still smoke or just stopped smoking within the last three months, we have a smoking cessation program. To see with the patient how far are they right now and what are their goals and what did help them already previously in their attempts uh, to quit. Stress management is an important issue for effective secondary prevention. The more you're able to, to reduce stress, the more you're able to care for yourself, to reduce other risk factors like smoking, alcohol consumption, uh, sedentary lifestyle. To strengthen the program. One of the key components of a comprehensive rehabilitation program is also uh, education regarding the medical condition the patients are suffering. So that's why we organize uh, on a weekly basis our educational sessions which are uh, performed by the cardiologists themselves. Whether in Belgium, Switzerland or elsewhere, effective rehabilitation is through multidisciplinary teamwork. Secondary prevention is a lot more than just treating the patient and doing your job. It's uh, all about an interaction with, with everybody around you and it's really a joint effort that makes a difference. Every one week we have a discussion with all the members of the team, including the physiotherapist, including the psychologist, nutritional counselist and the doctors to discuss the patient, to discuss the problems of the patient and then uh, the therapy will be individualized uh, for the patient. The key to success for this story lies in three words. That's teamwork, teamwork and teamwork with lots of team players on the field. Such programs have had significant clinical impact. Here, there was a reduction of mortality by about 50% in the first two years. If you look at death, there was a 4% death rate in the control group and about 
some less than 2% in the intervention group. If you look at the total cardiovascular re-event rate, um, there was an event rate of about 25% uh, in the control group and about 12%, 13% in the intervention group. Also, there's a lower number of hospital admissions by about 40 to 50% in our population. Figures that demonstrate the efficacy of this approach beyond doubt, even though programmes have their own limits. The problem is, once the patient goes back to home, many of those benefits are lost within a very rapid time frame. We need to get them to continue what they've done and what they've learned. To lifestyle and also to, to medication to increase the compliance in our patients. For maintaining the benefits of such programs, secondary prevention has to continue on a long-term basis. For that, new technologies could offer promising solutions. The future will be that we need more tools that assist patients to rehabilitate, creating a safe environment, and providing an effective program. Smartphone-based monitoring of training may be an option so that then the patient only after once or a while has contact with his treating uh, consultant physician uh, or, the, or physiotherapist at a hospital but then can do his training uh, on his own. We are convinced that new care strategies such as cardiac tailor rehabilitation can provide a, a valuable alternative you have to change your habits, otherwise you wouldn't be able to do that.